What's been really fascinating about lung cancer and the evolution over the past decade has been really focused on first targeted therapies. We were very happy that we could get oral or IV therapies that were biologic in nature that could replace intravenous cytotoxic chemotherapies or at least offer a different alternative for the patient. And then we started finding biomarkers which led to enriched populations and those patients receiving those therapies in fact did much better. High response rates, long progression free survivals and part of what effort we did at MD Anderson previously was our battle trial. This was biomarker based approaches of targeted therapy for lung cancer elimination. And what we did in this phase two effort was to biopsy everybody freshly after they've already been treated and use that material to determine what may be the best therapy for them. But part of our planning process in that was is that we archived both blood and tissue in order to answer further questions down the road. So one of the abstracts here looks at cell-free plasma as a potential way to assess these biomarkers in the blood and not have to use tissue and an invasive test. So we tested these uh, samples from battle and tried to see if we could see concordance within this technique compared to the paraffin tissue that we had derived. And we saw concordance rates somewhere between 80 and 92 percent with EGFR mutations and KRAS mutations. So having an enriched set of tissue and blood from trials like Battle, where we're collecting all of these specimens for future planning, has been really helpful in testing new technologies, new therapies, and certainly identifying biomarkers. And I think the next step in which we want to proceed in lung cancer is trying to find correlative markers that are not necessarily invasive tests, like blood, maybe urine, maybe sputum, but many ways to identify biomarkers in patients so they don't have to undergo a core biopsy.